everywhere post in the early of today as there is a mass celebration as Biafra is set to go. You know, there have been a Biafra agitation right from time, and a lot of people in the eastern part of Nigeria, the Igbos, have been protesting right from time because they believe that Nigeria is not working, the collective Nigeria is not working, so they want to separate on their own. Now, the news have already come out in the early of today that the Biafra is set to go. So, let us stay connected to the end of this video. They finally make out a date, so you will hear everything from the man in this very video so if you can share this video and sure you share it share it to different social media platforms let it go viral and if you can share it just like it as a watching it like the video give it a thumb up so that it will be recommended for us we'll be there stay connected i'm coming back again welcome you back to lachibob wash tv i don't have bad news for you today the tone of religious gossip and the boys will leave the fight for Mohammed. what is happening in the christian door join the Hello, my great and wonderful viewers. We're coming back to like people watch TV. For those of you that are new on this platform, make sure you click the rest subscription button that is showcasing on your video screen. And do want to click the notification bell icon so that whenever we drop a new video in a few hours' time, YouTube will easily let you know by notifying you. A lot is happening in Nigeria right now, and I told you in many of my videos, I said there is not the time for Nigerians to lose information. Anybody that is losing information in Nigeria right now is just like a dead person and all of that. So something tragic is happening and this video is mainly for Biafrans. If you know you are not Biafran or you don't want to know anything about the Biafran pain and all of that or you don't have anything to do with Biafra, you don't want to hear anything about it, it's better you quit the video at the moment because this video is not for you. Maybe if you ask time I will upload the video that really concerns you but this particular video is for Biafran and Biafran agitators. You know, it's normally news that the Igbos in the eastern part of Nigeria, they have been doing everything possible. They have been agitating for a few years now that Biafra should Good. They want to create the state of Biafra. They are not okay with the collective collaboration that is going on in Nigeria right now. I miss the government of the Hausa, Ibu, and the Yorubas. The Ibu said they want to separate, and even the Yorubas are also agitating that they want to separate. It was only the Hausa that weren't saying anything then, but even the Hausa are even talking now that they want to separate. They want to go on their separate ways. But the Ibu have the highest number of agitators. Now something tragic is happening. The time the Ibus are going to receive their freedom and create the state of Biafra is already stated. You will see everything in this video so if you can share this video and show it share it share to different social media platforms let it go viral and if you can share it just like the videos are watching like it give it a thumb up so that will be recommended for us you know a lot of people will be coming out and be seeing all sort of things regarding the biafra pain and all of that let biafra go even some people are even making coffee in the eastern part of nigeria they will not go to work on mondays there will be coffee and all of that and that alone have been affecting the economy of the Igbos, the economy of the people the Igbos in the eastern part of nigeria Nigeria. the economy is affected and i know what i'm saying right now some of you can prove me wrong at the comment section but this is not call for insult and all of that it is amidst the saga of the let the Igbo go let the biafra go that they arrested una de Kano on and una de Kano have been in a dsl detention for over a year now nothing is happening the Igbos protested that they should release una de Kano, but una de Kano wasn't released but come and see what is happening right now despite the fact that they failed to grant the bill of una de Kano, despite the fact that the judiciary refused to let them release una de Kano, the principal of the Biafra, the leaders of the Biafra. Now, something tragic is happening. A lot of Nigerian pastors actually came out. The main prophecy regarding Biafra, the still sort of things about Biafra and all of that. But come and see what this prophet said in this very video. So I'd like us to pay your attention to this video. He may mention of what will happen when Biafra will leave. He may mention of what will happen when Biafra finally leave. And he may mention of the way to which Biafra will leave. He said that was what God revealed to him. He may mention of everything, the to which Biafra will pass that that is not the road that they are passing right now he made mention of everything this is not my personal opinion I'm gonna show you the video you will see it for yourself so if you can share the video and show you share it and if you can share it just like it and listen to what the man said you will hear everything yourself just stay connected I'm coming back again there is this word I heard to pass to the Biafra to the Biafra five things he told me to tell today it's a custom that every service, sometimes last year, God gave me prophetic messages once in a year. As we graduated to this year, we started seeing it that it came monthly. Now he has taken it to another level that every service day, he gives me a message to the nation. And it happens likewise. To those of you who have followed this altar prophetically, 
I need not to overemphasize it. You see how God has been answering our prayers, and God has been bringing to pass what we declare on this altar, true of us. True. God has indeed given me a message to Nigeria and precisely to the group of people called Biafra. If you're an Igbo person, I'm not making a mistake by using that word, true of us. True. How many Igbo persons are here? There are many. There is no place you cannot find an Igbo person. We are plenty. Plenty, Abi. Yes, My wife is an Igbo person, so I'm your in-law. So I love Igbo so much. Any part of the world where you don't see an Igbo man, please relocate. Sure. Because they are everywhere. I'm just making a joke. But that is actually the fact. So there is a message to the Igbos or to the Biafrans, as you may put it. But before I go ahead to release that message, that prophetic message, last Wednesday, did you hear us talk about the reduction of price of commodities? Yes. God gave me five things that are about to happen in Nigeria. Number three, there is one, you know, when they draw a chart and there is a slope like this and it goes up, I see the price of commodities in Nigeria that we once said is going high. I see so many things coming down this season. We talked about it on Wednesday and it's been happening. As a matter of fact, I'm not saying they say this is a real proof. Back of uh, packs of Indomie that was close to 10, 11,000 dropped down this same week. 18,000. How much is it now? It's dropped down packs of indomie within a week now i'm not telling you this say i bought it myself last week before that wednesday when we said this we bought cement 11.5 as i'm speaking to you cement dropped to 8,000. i am not saying that them say i bought with my money so when we release prophetic messages here prophecies are not meant to scare you but to direct you yes sir and they direct your prayers how you pray and how you plan so those some people have made it a custom now our youtube page had 500 subscription as at last year now it is up to 3000 and it is growing by the day because some people have custom themselves to the things of the spirit they use this prophetic antenna to direct their, their lives god will direct you prophetically amen god will direct you prophetically amen as you connect to this grace he will speak to you amen and he will direct you Amen. Now, this ones that this part that we release on the YouTube is the part that has to do with the globe. But to that that we release to you that is inside here, or to those we give directly when they contact us for prayer, run with it speedily. Run with those prophetic messages. And you will see answer in the name of Jesus. Amen. There is this word I heard to pass to the Pierre France five things he told me to tell them today on his consul today's message Igbos are loved today's message is only for them Igbos but so many people say they are not Igbos if whether you love it or not so many people say rivers is not Igbo some states are not Igbos but if you go back to history we are all Igbos names check our names check names of streets check not, you may not say according to map that you are Igbos but according to inclinement cultural inclinement or tradition you may come to know that all of us are almost from the same parents despite where you are from Benin River State and all the rest so let's leave all those segregations and separations five powerful messages says I should pass to you bear friends one he says I should tell you this the words of the prophets are not to be joked with please run with it one you are not an identified state constitutionally but an identified people globally stop feeling oppressed what did I say you are not an identified state constitu constitutionally let me add it yet but an identified people globally stop feeling oppressed because waiting to be identified constitutionally has made you look down on the potentials you have as an identified people globally there are many nations on the face of the earth that things may not go well if you extract all the evil peoples there 
Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. So stop feeling oppressed. What? Where is your oppression coming from? You are the one oppressing yourselves in your mind. Caleb entered that land, came back. Twelve of them. Two people said Caleb and Joshua will be able. Other says we are not able. We, we are like grasshoppers. Don't see yourself as grasshoppers. No. The impact you want to make as a nation when you are separated, you can still make that impact starting from now. Am I making sense to somebody now? Some people who we want to abuse us say, oh God, that you are talking, leave that in. We want to be we want the state of Biafra. I am talking to you as one who hears from God. Stop belittling yourself in your mentality because you are identified globally. Two, you can't fight the Nigerian government physically, but you can fight for your destinies spiritually. Is anyone speaking what I'm saying now? Biafrans, you cannot fight that you can't. You can't fight the Nigerian government physically, but you can fight for your destinies spiritually. Avoid inciting wars. I am a student of history. I know my history so well. In fact, you can go to documentaries on YouTube and watch the Biafran war. If you finish watching that video, don't skip any part. The well-documented Biafran war, the well-documented, that documented everything, how it started until their leader said, this is enough. And he traveled out and handed over to his second, who handed over and said, this is over. You will know that war is not to be prayed for. You will know that war. Don't put war in prayer. Oh, I, I, we go fight them. You have not seen history. If you see history and you say pray for war, to an extent it affected all the neighboring states. Food. You won't see any food. The nations are sending food to you, yet you won't, it won't get to you. It won't. That is where Kwashoko started. Don't pray for war. Don't wish for war. You want to abuse the prophets on your comment section, like I told you before. Those that will be watching online now, before the comment drops, they have they've wiped it away and they also block the person. Because some people pass through this channel to receive spiritual guidance. So if you don't respect spiritual things, they remove the person. So what I am telling you in essence, my dear, believe you me, this was heard from the throne room and I am passing it to prayer friends. Three. You may not agree that you are Nigerians, but you can encounter breakthrough within the Nigerian contest. Abide by rules, regulation, and authority. Hear me now. You sell books, religious books, and individual. I sell religious books. You enter this church. Anything we do in this church, you don't like it. Anything we preach, we don't like it. You may not agree that you are a member of this church, but there is a way you can behave so you can just sell your books to the members and move away with your money. True of us. I believe you understand that scenario. You may not agree that you are Nigerians, but there are some things that you do that is turning down on your own economy. Sit home, sit down at home, all those things. Is it still on? Mondays, they sit down and it is impacting on your own economy. It is affecting you directly. God loves Biafra so much. As a matter of fact, I believe that the person, the father of Igbos, must have connection with Jesus Christ. I am telling you the honest truth as a black man. God loves Biafra so much. So this is a message he says I should pass to them. Those of you here, those of you watching online. So abide by regulations and authority. Because you so you will not shoot yourself with your leg at your leg with yourself. For until all elders are one, the young won't smell the liberation they yearn for. We have such people. oneness. A house divided against itself shall not what? Ebos, you need to be in unity, not to fight the Nigerian government because constitutionally it is wrong. I am a pastor, I will never ever encourage that. Whether you want to abuse me from now till tomorrow, I will tell you that if your liberation comes, it will come by God, not by war, not by fighting. Five finally, he told me categorically, Nam the Kano. 
regaining victory is more spiritual than physical and no spiritual exercise carried out can be answered in a geopolitical zone on united he will be set free very soon that's what i heard amen he will be set free very soon but the geopolitical zone in question has to be united the elders should not be saying another thing the youth saying another thing the children saying another thing in all god opened my eyes i saw elders forming a quorum forming i saw them seated together approaching the presidency for this same matter i also saw some youths boiling up to activate something that looks like what will generate or start another war god says i should give you a warning it can't stand and it can't hold don't do that don't go that path don't do what go that path if god wants Igbo to be on its own yoruba to be on its own i was to be on its own it is just by one thing that god will do if you want it by yourself there will be bloodshed so don't go that path and he says we should pray for as a church pray for the evil land today is for them tomorrow it might be for your clan next tomorrow it might be for my clan we we'll raise our right hand to heaven say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the evil clans the evil clans or the biafrans or the biafrans wherever they are wherever, wherever they, they are, are in every country they find themselves in every country they find god, themselves. god gives them wisdom god, god gives them wisdom. to embrace peace to embrace, peace. To embrace the strength in them to embrace the strength in us to embrace the, the victory god has already put in them to embrace and, the god and not to go the path of war and not, not to go the path of war and to become great as God has made them in the name of Jesus as I spoke so shall it be in the name of Jesus now this is for Nigeria God says I should tell you that your light is coming and he says I should tell the political class those that think that they are sitting on the walls of the on the wealth of the nation I see fire God is setting fire on their buttocks because money will be released at some point in time you will look at money you will ask yourself where did it come from to many who think they have stolen enough let them get set because even their children will smell it amen. they will not smell it amen. wealth will flow in this nation amen. the price of commodities will come down amen. and things will go well amen. in the name of jesus we pray amen. hear me i did not any day incite biafra incite anything far be it from me as a man of god in case you want to cut any part of my video to misinterpret it we are ready for you legally and spiritually because i did not any day incite anything called biafran war again are you hearing me now yes. <laughs> thank you for staying connected my great and wonderful viewers you can hear what that young man said you know that pastor said it all in that very video you know a lot of people might have attacked him and all of that a lot of people would have said all sort of things in the comment section that what this guy is saying is totally rubbish just because we're actually desperate to be or form a Biafra state and all of that you know I will keep saying it whether we like it or not the truth must be said and we need to call a spade a spade the Igbos have been agitating for a while now yes nobody is okay with the present situation of nigeria nobody is okay with the insecurity nobody is okay with everything that is happening in this country the economic crisis how the politicians in the asorok chamber how the mafia and money are eating everything up and making nigerians to be in total pain and suffering even till now people can never afford to eat two square meal in their houses people cannot eat well just because the government have failed them and the life of people is not even protected people cannot go to farm again just because the full and s men and all of that they are attacking people here and there a lot of insecurity issues and all of that even to the extent that kidnappers are even kidnapping plumber they are kidnapping plumber they're not even looking at the cannibal or the people that they're kidnapping again the kidnapping is not only for the rich again so nobody is safe as far as nigeria is concerned but that does not mean that we should call for division the fact remains that if nigeria should divide this is my own personal opinion you can drop your opinion in the comment section on this video everybody have the freedom to express
express his opinion so just express your own opinion and your opinion will be appreciated you can drop it at the comment section on this video whether we like it or not calling for separation is not what we enhance the growth of nigeria and all of that if Igbo should go if Alsa should go if fulani should go if yoruba should go now the fact remains that nigeria will not be strong again you know there's a war between israel and gaza and all of that but the fact remains that i live being that israel have divided maybe jerusalem went on his own and nazareth went on his own or the benjamin went on their own and all of that maybe they should divide i'm pretty sure that the gaza will be able to conquer them the country will not be strong likewise nigeria if Igbo should go whether we like it or not Igbo is one of the strong pillar of nigeria so if Igbo should separate nigeria will not be strong again and where the Igbo also separated to they too will not be strong there anything can happen so the best thing is for us to work out things in this nigeria let us agitate for our right fighting for a new nigeria is what will enhance the growth of this country it's not fighting for separation even peter will be that everybody is looking out for and all of that that is the one that is going to make the country to be okay peter b is not calling for separation and is an able man he's not calling for separation but rather is calling for the unity of all nigeria you will see peter b in the northern part of nigeria you will see in the southern part you will see him in the east and all of that just to ensure that nigerians are unanimous just to ensure that the new nigerians should come what peter b is agitating for is the new nigeria it's not for the separation now looking at the agitators of the biafra right from time yes they be agitating for their right that they want to separate and all of that but the government said they're not granting it the government said the separation cannot happen that there can never be anything like the state of biafra that nigeria should be one and all of that yes that was what the government said there is no call for inciting of war against the government and all of that no inciting of war on its own is a total offense on its own now the Igbos are clamoring for biafra should go and a lot of them are even coming to media and saying in that there should be war or all of that that is when biafra will be able to go now the war we are talking about even if you look at what that pastor said the war we are talking about if you should look at the people that have witnessed the war in the 90s they are not praying for war again because war will make a rich man to become a non-entity war will make someone that is very valuable to lose his life war will make a mother to leave his daughter or his child or his son or all of that nobody knows family in war anybody's life can be lost and all of that so war is not an option if the government said yes biafra should go yes so be it biafra goes and if they should say biafra should not go so be it too because according to the law nobody is above the government so that is what the pastor said in this very video he said the biafra should go and rest that once the time that god allocate for them maybe if at all god want them to separate that the time that god allocate for them when the time comes they will surely leave nobody can stop the hand of god that was what the pastor said in that very video so let us just drop your opinion in the comment section on this video what do you guys think regarding biafra should leave or biafra should stay or all of that look at una de Kano is still in the dss custody and they refuse to grant this bill and all of that and everything happened just because they are dating from biafra drop your opinion as i'm gonna get that that turn on for you and share follow me on my social media handles on facebook at lipo watch tv and lipo entertainment and on instagram at lajipo guess what guys see you in my next video bye Religious gossip that today for body day for you. Pass away the line on top of the past. For that you pop was the thing. Pass away the bar. Where, where? Politics are where they do pass themselves. Probably the hardy. Why you waiting for church? All that's like you pop was the thing.